It's really windy today. Fuck it, we'll do it live. What's crapping it, everybody? It's Chris with Lone Wolf DIY. Thanks so much for checking out the channel. I love seeing your faces. This is so beautiful and smart. Boy, do I got a great episode for you guys today. We finally got our G4 Pro camera hooked up front. And oh my God, you guys, I cannot wait for you to see how good that screen resolution is. Also, I have to hurry this up because the sprinklers just kicked on. I've also been doing all kinds of painting. You wouldn't believe how much painting I've done. I've done the front of the house. I've done the windows. I've done the bars on the windows. And they're gonna look great. I can't wait, man. Stick around and check this out. Here it is Sunday evening and I've got the gray primer up. It's always a good idea to start with primer first. Let that really soak in, especially along the edges of stuff like T111 siding where it's basically made out of uh, tissue paper. Oh, what's good about the gray is I'm, I, I like that tone a little bit better, that medium yellow. I, I don't want it to be like a really, really crazy bright yellow. So I didn't want to do a white primer. Went with a gray. And I think it's gonna look great. I think it looks a lot better than that ugly ass tobacco stain yellow. Still trying to figure out the accents though. I might do purple around the windows, but there's so much brick that I think even just having the yellow would look really nice. Stay tuned. And so what I'm doing is I'm just taking this brush and I'm just really getting into these little spots like that. That's a lot of yellow. Now I know what you're thinking. Chris, that's way too much yellow. That looks like shit, dude. That looks like a school bus. Took a dump on your house. Took down my security bars, the really old, just worn out black spray paint on there. So what I did is I took them down and I want to do something really fun. I was thinking about gold bars and making it look like really Fidel Castro E. Is it who who does gold? King Midas, gold member. I think I like the hammered copper better. What do you guys think? Uh, I like this shinier gold better than the polished gold, but I'm definitely leaning more towards that. So I think this nice, rich, textured color is gonna go really well with all the wild colors that we got going on the house there. Uh, so yeah, let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment, tell me none of them, they suck. Should have painted it turquoise or something like that. <laughs> Make sure you're wearing your mask. I've gotten so high off of this shit, I puke. Don't put a lot on, don't get very close. Try to go over 50% of your sprays. You can always put more than one coat, but the drips are a pain in the butt to take care of. Look at that. People pay thousands and thousands of dollars to get frames painted by the manufacturer and they don't even hold up. This can of paint cost me $6 and I turned my frame copper. <laughs> Dude, that looks so awesome. That looks so much better than that dumbass gray color, man. Oh my God. Are you ready for the easiest installation on the entire planet? You just put this little plastic deal up. We have our AP light and we're gonna plug that in. Put that excess in there, in excess. Then there's a little arrow right here and there's a little arrow right there that you line them up with. Like so, make sure your cable's in there all the way because it likes to weasel its way out. Okay, there it is. That looks really, really pretty. I cannot wait to get our Wi-Fi signal up and rocking. Now we're gonna plug in our AP into our switch and we're gonna get our Wi-Fi rocking in here and I cannot wait. This TV right here, I just love chilling out here, playing games, streaming stuff. Now I can stream on all my movies, on my tablets, on my TV. I can do pretty much anything I want, up to 50 clients and have no kind of interruptions whatsoever. Wait, what's that one kid? Is that it? I don't know how he does it. Something like that. Okay, all the way down to the other end of the attic, take one. Hopefully that's it. Don't look at my ass on the way back there. All right, there's our, there's our access right there. We gotta go all the way down there and get to the camera. And then our AP is over there somewhere. Hopefully we don't find any bodies up here. Okay, I'm gonna leave you guys back here. Oh cool, I can see the inside of the brick wall up here and I just whip myself in the eye. That's a good start. There we go, let's, uh, let's head back and see if we can find the AP cable. You guys see anything? It's getting a little tight in here. Right there. That was convenient. Hopefully it reaches. See all that stuff? 
That's why I'm wearing a mask, man. That's old 1953 insulation. That's that's lung cancer right there. Okay, we got it. All right, let's head to the bathroom. Let's rendezvous in the shitter. Just kidding, that's disgusting. But if you were heading to the crapper, man, if you had some of Ubiquiti's amazing Wi-Fi capabilities and connections with these APs, you'll be taking that dump with crystal clear streaming quality. I'm too out of shape to be holding the squat formation this long. I could feel the battery acid pulsing through my ass muscles. Ugh. Oh, motherfucker. Dude, what the fuck? No! This is the hardest part. Okay, you can see we have our electrical fishing line right there. We're gonna tie our cat cables to that and then we're gonna pull them down the hole and through our access. I initially wanted to build a tunnel in there, but then I would have had to take out more drywall and make a mess. This way it's just as easy and once I got it all set up, it's no problem. Cause I like to have a good time, hang out with my friends online. And I consider you one of my new best good friends. Shit, I'm glad my life didn't depend on this untangling. I'd be dead for sure. I can imagine this being like Cliffhanger with Sylvester Stallone and they're like, she's gonna fall, give her the fucking rope. And I'm like, dude, I'm working on it. Okay, so I've got our cats lined up on our fishing wire here. And now all I have to do is pull it down and hope it doesn't break or come off. Let's get the fuck in. Okay, let's pull those lines out. Let's get it. Let's get it done. Please don't get stuck. Don't do this to me. Come on now. If they fall off, dude. Hmm. Uh-oh. Oh! Oh! Yeah. What the hell? Oh, we were so close. Oh. Don't rip out all the little fiber stars. Don't rip out the stars. Don't rip out the stars. Yeah. Look at us go, everybody. This is how easy it is. All you got to do is run the cables and make sure they don't get tangled. You have one job and I failed at it. This is all rusty. Hopefully uh, I don't need a tetanus shot. I might've broke something, but that's okay. All right, here's what we're gonna do. I have this shelf right here has a little tiny space right where the trim is. So, um, no, that was a shit idea. Okay, I got another idea. Let's see if we can put it under. Ooh, is this gonna work? <laughs> Let's put our camera on three. One, two, and three. And we will put our AP on number two. Roll on two. You guys ever seen The Green Mile? I know certain people. I have certain friends. I don't know. I haven't seen that movie in a while, but Michael Clark Duncan is the shit. I'm sorry you're dead. Even Chris from Lone Wolf. Even Chris Wolf. For some reason, my name on Facebook is Chris Wolf. Even Chris Wolf makes mistakes, everybody. What's that? That's why you're here? Oh, okay. Holy shit, look at all the stars that fell out. Oh my God. So even though I glued the stars in there, they fell out. Dude. We'll get to that later. We got so much stuff to do. Okay, we have our Unify 6, our AP light that's hanging up there, and that's powered by this cable here. We'll check our phone to make sure everything is updated, but before we do that, we gotta make sure we have power. So we're gonna take a look at our AP light and make sure that the blue light's on, and then I'm gonna hook up that camera, finish that up, which, I, dude, I'm so excited for that pro camera. I, it's gonna be so pretty. Gonna take a ride into the danger zone. Zaphoid Beeblebrox. If you guys have not seen Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, it's a good movie. Even though people gave it, said bad things about it. Okay. No active clients. Okay. System update. Let's head to devices. UDM Pro. Let's see. It says it's online. The switch is online. The living room AP needs to be updated. So we can do that by going to settings and we can upgrade right there. Wait a minute. Yes! Can we look at it? Let's check out our Unified Protect. Okay. So I've got a bunch of other stuff on here. It kept track of all my old cameras. So now what I gotta do is a little spring cleaning and clean up my network and then get started all over again with my pretty new stuff. Where do we see this camera updating? Ooh. Can't wait to see this picture. Mm -hmm. 
Well, that's it for today, everybody. Thanks so much for checking out the channel. I love seeing your face. You're all beautiful and smart, but you gotta make sure to come back because we are just getting started on this Airbnb build. Now we got our cameras hooked up. Now we got some sweet Wi-Fi access and I can't wait to build on my network by hooking up some more cameras. I'm gonna do an exterior AP and a couple other things because that's all it takes. You just gotta get your UDM Pro and your Switch set up. You go check out the Ubiquiti store and you pick up whatever you like and you just plug it in and you play adopt it right on your cell phone. But next week is gonna be awesome because we have our cowboy room. Yes, the cowboy room is done and I can't wait to show you guys. It's just gorgeous. I worked really hard on that floor. I'm very happy with the way it turned out. But everybody, we are just getting started on this Airbnb build. We got a long way to go and I really would love to have your support here. So thanks so much for joining the channel, everybody. Like and subscribe, hit that notification thing in the corner if you would like to become one of the wolf pack. And if you're just joining us, make sure to go back and check out the channel because I got lots of really cool ubiquity stuff. If you need help setting up your network or need some sort of instructions from a ding dong, give me a call.